For this project, we're going to draw a fire truck and give a little honor to the first responders. So, put your paper in the landscape direction and follow me. Lay your hand on the bottom corner of the paper like this and put a dot right there. From that dot, we're going to make our first line. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Now we're going to measure with our fingers a lot, so follow me. Now, lay your finger right against that dot, jump over your finger, and put another dot right there. Now look, get these lined up, straight one over from the other, so that we can put a flat line between them. Now, that should be plenty of time to do that. Now put two fingers together like this and just push it right over against the end of that line. And uh, we're going to jump over our fingers and put a dot. So let's just skip over and put a dot right there. Just let your eyes tell you what to do. Just do what you see me do. And we want this lined up. We want that lined up. Now everything we do down here will be flat across all the way. All of the things we draw will be flat across the bottom area of the paper. Now we're going to put the wheel in here and we're going to start with a rainbow shape. Just like this. Just watch nice and round, best you can. Now think about what you just drew and if it's not round you can fix it a little bit. Then we go around on the bottom. Now mine is not very round but it's close enough. Close enough. Now just skip over the circle. Keep Stay in line with the first line we drew. And we're going to use our finger again to measure right here. We're just going to jump over and put a dot so that we know how far to bring out this new line. So we're going to put this dot right there and make the line. Put your fingers like this, like you see on the screen. And let's jump up, just straight like a flagpole. And we going, we're going to go up and put a dot right above your three fingers like that. This is not hard to do if you just take your time. It's like a flagpole. Just put a line. Your eyes are very powerful. They can tell you what to do, so just do what you see. All right, let's go to this other side and get on this point and make a line. It's like you're going to make um, a triangle. We just slant it up. Let your eyes tell you how much. Just do what you see. It's really not that hard. We're going to use our finger to measure again right there. Let's just jump up over our finger. We'll jump. And put a dot. Now we're going to fill in that line. There you go. Now we can just bring a line flat across. Just bring that flat. If you need to adjust one or the other lines, then go ahead and adjust it and make them come together like you see on the screen. Now we're going to go inside these lines and double up. Just watch that spacing. Just keep your eye on that spacing. Just make the new line follow the old line. We're going to go around the circle like you see. Just follow me. All the way around. And there we go. That should look pretty much like that. <clears throat> okay, we're going to make the door. We're going to split this area with two skinny lines, just like that. Flagpole straight. And that's the door post that separates the front door from the back door. 
Then we're going to need some windows. So let's just go ahead and put a couple lines right here like that. And these are just little detail lines that make it look shiny. Or supposedly. Alright, door handle one, door handle two. Kind of simple. Now we could write some things on there. We do that later. It just left plenty of empty space so that we can uh, write on the doors. You could put like dial 911 or something like that. All right, we'll fool with that later. So let's work on the wheel. Now, go in the middle and make a very tiny circle, just like that. Let your eyes tell you what to do. Do what you see. All right, here's another line that goes around like the wheel originally did. Just watch that spacing. Mine's a little sloppy. Maybe yours will be better than mine. Let me zoom in here and just and we'll get some lug nuts on there. Let's see, one, two, three, four. You might be able to fit four more by putting them in between those others. Now that wheel should stay on. That's tight. Now for the bumper. It's simple, just kind of a little rectangular shape with a couple little detail lines like that. And that should work fine. Sometimes these are diamond plate or have grooves in them to keep them from being slick. A little round thing right there. Let's go up on the top and put a little horn. Because you know these things have really loud sirens so let's do that. And just watch, just watch. Have a little triangular shape on the front of that. They might be a little different than a real one, but it'll work. I'm going to show a few little details to make it look like it's uh, putting out sound. It'll work. All right, this is a little rectangular piece that uh, is going to be a base for the light. There's the dome shape and put an X in there. Just and making up some detail. So these lights would uh, possibly rotate. Of course they're LEDs now, so this is the old style. Just my way of doing it. It's art, you can do it that way. Or different. There's your antenna. Just follow. Follow along, get that the way you want it. Okay, that's most of the front part of the fire truck. So, wait, need a dashboard. I'm just going to go ahead and blacken that in. Maybe a steering wheel. Yeah, that's kind of small, but you're just seeing part of it. So, it's not really that small. You're just seeing... A little bit of it. And a couple lines for the seats. A little early for detail, but we're working in that area, so we'll just go ahead and get it. All right, here's what we got going. Now, um, once again, we're going to keep the bottom of everything flat. Now we're going to measure. Again, using our fingers, so just follow me. Put your pencil on the corner. And then put your hand up there because we're going to use that to measure. And we, we're going to use the thickest part of our hands. Now slide it up against that corner. Don't get in the wrong place. Just put right there and let's just jump over. Just put that dot. Make sure it's straight across from the other lines. The best you can. We don't want the uh, fire truck to look like it's broke down. Alright, that should just be straight with the other lines we drew earlier. Alright, we need another wheel. So, let's make it the same as the first. We're going to go 
two fingers wide. We're going to jump over that. We don't want to get this out of the line. We just want to stay straight. If we can, just put that line right, I mean that dot rather, right there. Just make sure you're lined up with it. All right. If you have to move it up or down, go ahead, but don't don't change the spacing. Here gives them a little rainbow shape. All right, let's make this wheel. Do the best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it round. It'll look better if it's round. And if it's a real wheel, it'll work better if it's round. All right, continuing on on this back part just going to measure with our finger again and just jump over your finger and watch where I put the dot straight over the finger and just put the line just like that stretch that out fill it in between the dots now, if you're near the edge of the paper, you may be a little scrunched up, or if you got extra space, you you might stretch that out a little longer. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the inside part of the wheel just nice and round, best you can. And a little dot for the middle. Well, it's actually a little circle. And we'll need some lug nuts once again, just like the first wheel. There's the first four, and then we'll fit four more in between those. And there we go. That should look pretty good. Next comes the really important part, and that's the rectangle on the back that makes the rest of the truck. All right. You can see how this goes. We're measuring everything with our finger. That gives us the right proportions for the different parts. And proportion just means the relationship between the sizes of things. So I've got my finger in here to measure uh, for the uh, back of the truck. So you can see how I've got it lined up. And we're going to put a dot right here. Just like that. And from there, we're going to make a line that goes flagpole straight. All right. Now, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to play music because your eyes can tell you what you need to do. Just make it look like what you see. One more dot over here. And this will give us our big rectangle. I said I was going to play some music, and I'll get to that in just a second. But let's get the shape of the back of the fire truck first. I'm being very careful to keep this straight. And I'm not going to finish that line until I get this one over in that area so I can see how to get the corners to come together at a 90 degree angle or close to it anyway. And there we go. There's the back of the truck. All right, now for that music. Just follow along, do what you see me do. If you see me measure, measure. Whatever you see me draw, draw and just do your best.